All right, so you mentioned Evander Kane. Uh, we got to get to Evander Kane. This was weird. Over actually. time, this was really this weird. This was weird. Uh, do you want me? Do you want me to see it? Up sure, there? go ahead. So this I'm was last ahead. night. Uh, these two again will meet uh, Wednesday night in the opener. We know how their first round series ended a year ago. Evander Kane wanted to have a go at Derek Englund. Linesman comes in. There's a shove here from Evander Kane right about there. So he got chucked for that. And to say that Evander Kane was a little annoyed at how he was quote unquote manhandled by that official is putting it lightly. He was he was he was not ashamed after the game to voice his displeasure at how the linesman handled that. Well, the rule 40.2, uh, physical abuse of officials, uh, carries a 10-game suspension with it. Right. So you can understand why Evander Kane might have been upset. It all started with a hit between Kane and Derek Anglin, and Anglin wanted to fight him. And the part that you didn't really point out in the initial video that I think needs to be pointed out for those who haven't seen it is Kane goes to slash Anglin and he slashes the referee and I think the referee is pretty pissed off he did get a piece of him, that right? he got yeah. yeah oh yeah I didn't, that he I got didn't a notice huge that piece of him it. and he goes over and he's mad right and manhandles Kane because he's mad like I know that when these things appear on Twitter, they appear in a vacuum, but none of that is in a vacuum. Evander Kane's reputation going into it, this collision, and then watch when he turns, wham! Yeah, he got a piece of him, you're right. He got a big yeah. chunk of him. Good eye and the that. official doesn't react the way you, and it, it's, it's Kyle, uh, what's his, I got it right Forgive here. me, Tim, I wish I could help. Uh, Murchison is the linesman in question here. I think Murchison's pissed off. And that's why he grabs Kane the way. Yeah. If you watch the initial contact with the official and Evander Kane, there is some serious. Like there's the shot. But watch, watch what he really like. He pushes right here. There's a push, right? So I think both of them are at fault here. And I don't know if at ten games, like you can never shove an official. You can't do that. But if an official tackles you. And, and if I'm the official and the guy slashes me in the arm and I'm a human being, I'm kind of pissed too. I mean, look, I've had officials run into fights to, to, and grab guys to stop altercations from escalating. Or, it's happened before. We oh, have yeah. seen referees and lions, linesmen specifically run in. We've seen linesmen get punched in the face. Correct. You can't touch an official. And you know that. You know that. I'm just reiterating. You can't touch an official, man. Season opener is Wednesday night. Just I, I would I would expect if they want to give him ten games for that I could see it, I could see it, and I don't know what it is at the end of a preseason. Remember Tom Wilson and I would love Sunquist I would love year? Murchison. End just, of the preseason's weird. It is. Yeah. It is especially when you have teams that are going to play to start the season. Correct. Because there's message sending. Mm -hmm.